morning everyone it's a brand new day here in london we are getting ready i'm getting ready i'm repacking my stuff because today we are leaving the hotel yesterday was a bit of a journey to come back home this hotel is a bit too far away i would say it's not very convenient to go to london city center but um we were not supposed to go to london city center yesterday we were supposed to go to brighton we are moving to another hotel and then we're probably going to take the train to brighton today i'm excited let's go for breakfast now because i am starving i must say that this is the perfect combo to travel with i think bam bag is super useful i like it a lot because you have all your stuff in the front here there is space for like tissues and sanitizers phone camera now i have my glasses in my airpods it's like i think three liters the only thing is i don't have space for water which is a little bit of a bummer because when you travel you kind of need water so I don't know I love it I think it's a great solution for traveling but I think you need someone who has a backpack so that you can put some stuff inside like I cannot bring a jacket or something and this one is the perfect bag for the airline because it fits under the seat so you don't have to get on the plane early to have space above you genius it's time to go let's go we like the premier inn very much we do we really 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 like it ciao room Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really want to know really want to know If I let figure out I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down What the heck there are people bathing? Oh so crazy. Oh I'm so cold already. Even if I'm falling down. So I said you're not gonna win anything here and then like he got the big win and now we get like 500 tickets how fun is that oh wow Sky's falling down. chilling here on the pier let me show you what i want we did this like cash machine in which you put the coins down and then you push the other coins and we won this keychain and this keychain in another machine we won this this is my favorite this is like my donuts prize Ah, oh, this is so cute, I love it! And also we did Zolta, which read me my fortune. Very interesting, this thing. We are at Harry's Ramsden, I think it is pronounced, which is very famous for fish and chips. I got the Harry's fish cakes and look how cute our table is. It's like in this little corner with the beautiful view of the
where we were before. So the first part is like, um, yeah, like all these machines, coins, machines. And then you walk, there are some shops, candy shops. And then at the very bottom of the pier is like an amusement park. Like there are roller coaster. They call it fair here, like a fair. So funny, it's very beautiful. Very windy. Now at the beach, um, for lunch we had fish and chips. I had fish cakes with chip patty. It's basically bread, you put butter on top and then you put the chips inside. Very funny thing. Mashy peas, it's like hot peas smashed. It was really good, it was really, really, really good. The portions were a bit too big, like a lot of food waste, which is not very good, but so delicious, really. So now we are waiting for the city side scene bus because we want to go and see the upside house. So let's go. This is the West Pier. Pretty creepy. Sometimes it's alright just to be a little wrong. I thought like we would go inside that there was an elevator and then we would go up. But no. This thing is coming now. How good is that? Darkest places right before the dawn. So if you ever lie away with situations in your mind, then you try to sleep it off, but night keeps on passing by. That is what I came for, the upside down house. I saw this on a TikTok and I thought, let's go there. Look how cute that is. Isn't this so weird? Brighton, the upside down house was a little bit weird. Like, you feel when you step in, you feel like you're on a boat. Like, it gets a little bit like I felt a little bit nauseous, honestly. It was uh, very interesting. You pay, I think it is five pounds for that to get in. Like, there is a like amount of people that can be inside because you need to have time to take pictures and there is also a person that helps you take picture they explain you how to take picture so that they work so that they look how they are supposed to look so it might be that you have to wait at the entrance there is also a fast track option if there are many people it's like i think 10 pounds for the fast track option and yeah like in general i felt a bit nauseous you can stay inside up to 20 minutes but we left before because the problem is basically the floor is not straight because you are upside down and yeah that's why you feel nauseous you feel like on a boat really we just took a few pictures she helped us like take a few pictures we went out got a tea at bird and blend this is a strawberry lemonade tea very nice now at 705 the last sightseeing bus is coming so we need to take this to the train station and then from the train station that we need to go back to 
London for our dinner in London. Really nice day in Brighton. I really feel there is a lot going on in this city. I really, really like it. So yeah, super recommended. pyjama already what a journey what a journey now i'm back at home super tired super sad because i had a very nice weekend really thank you very much for watching and for coming along as always remember to subscribe to my channel to give this video a thumb up to leave a comment and see you in my next video bye